What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing my entire RC collection, planes, helicopters, and cars. Um, as you can see, I have a lot and my collection is growing and I thought it'd be cool to go through everything with you guys so you can see details of each vehicle I have, where they came from, and how I feel about each one of them. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you do, give it a like, subscribe to come back to see all the other content I'm gonna be putting out for you in the coming weeks. I'm also live streaming this, guys. So if you decide you want to see what it's like when I make a video and how many times I actually have to re-say things and then edit them out, then that video will be up as well for you to see. I really hope you do enjoy watching this video in my insanely large and growing collection. So the car I'm going to be starting out with is this right here. It is a Traxxas Bandit. This was one of the first videos I ever made. I thought it'd be a really good idea to buy this car seeing that it's a very popular model and I figured if I made a decent video review of it that it would probably likely do good forever. And I was right, it's my best performing video with over 40,000 views. And my last video I made, I actually took this and I built it from stock to a beast. And I did this by taking a lot of the parts that I picked up in that RC car lot I bought. If you haven't seen the video for that, I'll put it down below in the description and probably up here at the corner of the screen. Anyways, let's go over the difference between now and stock. Stock comes with a brushed motor. It does about 20 miles an hour. I have now upgraded it with a Hobbywing 120 amp ESC, a Spectrum, I believe 4200 brushless motor. From the RC car lot, I took this Proline transmission. I have a bunch of RPM parts also from the RC car Carla, I got this brushless Traxxas servo in here, big bore Traxxas aluminum shocks. And to finish it off, guys, I put these cool black wheels that I got off Amazon. I think they're Hoppy Park or some no-name brand. This thing is much cooler than it was. And if you haven't seen the video where I upgraded it, there's a three-part series. I'll leave the first link up here and, and I'll leave all three links in the description. Up next on the list is the Traxxas Bandit VXL. This one's bone stock, brushless, out of the box. And as you can see, these tires are shot. This one actually got ran over by a car one day. I was ripping it through puddles in my front yard. I made a short of that. And uh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. It went right underneath the car as it was driving by. Be careful and responsible with what you do with these cars, guys. It was a very stupid move on my part. A full rebuild video is coming sometime in the future. Also, this car is a lot of fun. And it actually, I believe, is faster than the one I just built. It really likes to wheelie and it's it's actually kind of hard to control because it's so fast so but again it's a little messed up it's it needs some work next on the list is a 4x4 Traxxas Slash this came in the RC car that I picked up it was originally brushed and I swapped it over to one of the Vlenion brushless kits that came in the lot however I made a video of me doing that and the camera was angled completely wrong so the footage is completely wrecked I don't think I'll ever actually put that video on so it's unfortunate but uh, it's it's really bad footage in any case front and rear aluminum shocks aluminum axles in the front stock in the back aluminum servo linkages this thing's a lot of fun guys it's pretty slow even with the brushless i need to upgrade the gearing to make it go a little faster still a lot of fun up next is my original 4x4 Traxxas Slash. It looked just like the one I just showed you in the previous clip when I got it. After a few years, I lowered it down with the lower center of gravity, put the aluminum Traxxas big bore shocks on there, upgraded RPM A-arms and front bumpers. I've since taken the front bumpers off and replaced them with the front bumper from the Traxxas Rally, as well as the rear and front body mounts. The rims and tires are also from the Traxxas Rally. I made a video for this build process, guys. If you want to see it, I will leave the links in the description below and maybe up here you can only leave so many up in the corner i think five total i pretty much made a video for every car i have so this thing is a lot of fun guys tracks to slash brushless villainy on four-wheel drive is great even right out of the box highly recommend this car next on the list we have a two-wheel drive tracks to slash this was the first rc car i ever bought I bought it for my wife and I ended up playing with it way too much. She then told me, Mike, you got to go get one for yourself because this is mine. So I did. I went and picked up the car I just showed you in the previous clip. After a little bit of time, I ended up upgrading this. I put a low center of gravity conversion on it, castle brushless system, front and rear RPM A-arms. She then told me, Mike, it's too fast for me. So I made the choice to go buy her another stock one so she can have that. You'll see that in the next clip. 
It needs a little bit of work. I took some parts off it for a build in a video that's coming up very soon. So keep your eyes open for that. This thing is great. If you've never driven a slash with a low center of gravity conversion, I highly recommend it. It doesn't roll. It drives more like a car. Overall, a lot of fun to drive this. Next up on the list is the slash that I had to replace hers with. Obviously, as you can see, it is the pink version. This one is completely bone stock, guys. This is literally what it looks like outside of the box. I always say to people, if they don't have an RC car and they want to get one, this is probably a great option to start with. It's not too fast, it's super durable, and man, it's a lot of fun. This is the body that came with it, and I did pick up a clear one for her. I took a Hello Kitty sticker, stuck it on the back, and then painted it pink. In any case, this is the one she plays with, and she loves it. Next up on the list is another Traxxas Slash. Yep, I know guys, I got a lot of Traxxas Slashes. This one here, however, has a brushless upgrade. I got this car from the RC car lot. This is like a $50, $60 cheap Ghoul RC. It's just a cheap brushless upgrade. It is a little bit faster than stock. It's got a lot more power, but nothing crazy. Next up on the list is another Traxxas Slash. Two wheel drive. This one also came in the RC car lot. This is the most heavily upgraded one out of that, I believe, and it is my favorite. It's got a hobby wing brushless system, pro line transmission. It has rear shocks, a sway bar, radio link receiver, some cheaper looking A arms in the front, plastic, and a bunch of other aluminum upgrades. It's a wheelie monster and it does about 60 miles per hour. Made a video for this as well as the other cars, and I've also made a video with the top speed for this one, so check that out too. Guess what guys, the next car is also a Traxxas Slash. This is two wheel drive as well. This also came in the RC car lot. Proline transmission, the same hobby wing brushless system that's in the last car I showed. Front and rear aluminum shock towers, some aluminum suspension parts, rear aluminum shocks, and aluminum A-arms in the front. And it's also got a metal geared servo. Also, it's got a roll cage, which makes it very heavy. I don't know if this is really my favorite. This one flips over really easy. The Slash already flips over easy, so I couldn't say this is my favorite, but it is quick and still a lot of fun to drive. Next up on the list is another vehicle I made a video for. I bought this one used. It is a Traxxas Rustler two-wheel drive with a Castle brushless upgrade. The previous owner also changed out the radio to a Spectrum. I put the RPM A-arms and the front bumper on it and everything else is pretty much stock. And I got these tires off Amazon. They're pretty cool looking. This is a wheelie monster as well, guys. It kind of will just flip over without the wheelie bar. A lot of fun. And again, I made a video for it. Link in the description below. Next up on the list is a Nitro Rustler. This is my only Nitro vehicle. Funny story with this one. I used to work with a guy and one day he kind of came up to me and was like, hey Mike, I got this uh, nitro car. I don't know if it works. You want to see if it works? And I was like, sure. So he just gave it to me and never asked for it back. I recently did a whole rebuild process on this. I had crashed it and broke a bunch of stuff. So if you want to watch that video, once again, link is in the description below. This does not come stock. I put this on here and put the receiver inside to keep it nice and safe from the fuel that seems to spit out everywhere. And it actually came out great. RPM front bumper. Pretty much everything else is stock and I painted these wheels gunmetal gray. They got dirty real quick as this car does because the fuel is sticky. Nitro is a whole different beast guys. If you don't have one, I always recommend people to try out both. This thing is a lot of fun. It's very loud though. This one of the pros of electric is it's not gonna make your neighbors as angry as this vehicle undoubtedly will. Next on the list is the two-wheel drive Traxxas Stampede. This is a brushed monster truck, and I actually made a video for this as well. I bought it with the intentions of making a video just like the Bandit. I know it's a popular model, and I figured it would probably be a video that would do well forever. It's bone stock, except for the wheelie bar. This thing is a wheelie monster. If you're looking for a car that's a lot of fun that will do wheelies, this is your go-to car here. And if you're new to the hobby, you're always gonna wanna probably start with the brushed. I ended up liking it way more than I thought I would, it turned out to be one of my favorite RC cars. As I said in the video review, don't ever let anyone tell you a brushed RC car can't be fun. Guys, next on the list is the Arma Granite 4x2 Boost. I pretty much picked this up strictly to make a video. The hobby shop allowed me to borrow the Arma Sentin 4x2 Boost and the Vortex. Those videos are doing really well for my channel, so I knew that I needed to buy this to make that third video of the series. It's not fast at all. I ended up really liking it more than I thought. I love the color scheme. I think the orange is beautiful. Again, it's brushed. It'll only do about 22 miles per hour. This one won't pull wheelies because the motor is in the center, so there's not really much weight in the back, and it really doesn't have enough power to do it anyways. I did a full review on this car as well, so if you want to see it, check the links in the description. This one I'll probably put up in the corner. Up next on the list is a Traxxas 
Emacs. I also got this one for free, guys. One of my good friends, Alex, just gave it to me. He said, here, take it for your channel. Alex, I really appreciate that. Dual brushed motors, single brushed ESC, two servos, one for each wheel, four shocks in the front, four shocks in the rear, four A-arms in the rear and front, four wheel drive. This thing's a lot of fun, guys. I changed out the receiver to radio link, but then I ended up pulling it off because I needed it for another video. This is the type of car you give to someone who's never played with one before, and they will immediately ask you how much it costs. I think this is a great way to impulse someone who's not really into RC to want to go buy one. This hobby is just awesome, and I think most people don't really realize how much fun these things are until they play with them. And last on the list, guess what? It's another Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive stock. I'm not gonna get into any details on this. You'll see why it's coming in the next video I'll be uploading. All right, guys, helicopters now. So this right here is the Blade 230S V2 six-channel RC helicopter. Six-channel means that you can actually change the pitch of the blades. So you can flip it upside down and it will then fly inverted. If you're not really familiar with what that means, just search 3D helicopter. You could fly this thing in all different directions. It is pretty much relatively a beginner's helicopter. It also has safe mode, which means that you can hit the button on the remote right here if you're in trouble and it'll just automatically right itself, which is definitely a cool feature when you're learning. Safe mode will also limit your bank angle so you can't go farther than this or this and there's multiple settings for it. Once you turn safe off though, you're at the mercy of knowing what to do because if you tip it sideways and you don't know what to do next, guess what? It's going right into the ground. You gotta know how to fly a helicopter to fly without safe mode. If you don't know how to fly a helicopter though, recommend getting the simulator and this is actually probably your best bet to pick up. Brushless, it's direct driven, brushless in the back. This thing is a total blast. I, I can't recommend it enough, especially if you're new to helicopters. Start with something small like this. First of all, the bigger they are, the easier to fly. So if you can master flying something small like this, it's gonna be a lot easier for you in the future. Helicopters are not easy to fly, but they are very, very satisfying when you actually do figure it out. Next on the helicopter list is the Blade 230S. This is the V1. So obviously this came out before V2. I purchased this after having a few different helicopters and man oh man, it's a good helicopter. Also two brushless motors in this one. I crashed this one. I did buy the parts, but I ended up just buying version two instead because it had just come out. So I haven't flown this since. Also a lot of fun guys. I don't really know if it's worth buying V1 anymore since they have V2. Another thing too, all the ones I'm showing you guys, they all run off the same remotes. That's one of the best parts about these things is once you have the remote, you kind of can just buy any plane or helicopter and sync it up to that remote. Next up on the list is this little Blade Nano CPX. This is a full six channel 3D helicopter. So again, what that means is you can fly it like this. The motor in the front is brushless. These things are really hard to fly because they're so squirrely. Again, if you can learn how to fly on something like this, you're gonna have absolutely no trouble when you move to something larger. I do have a stock one of these two. It's yellow. I couldn't find the box for it. I have two of these. Next on the list is the Blade 130X. This is actually a really old model. I think I got this in 2013. It was a very problematic model. I really never got to fly it too much. I don't even know why I have it anymore. This was before Safe was out, so it did have a little bit of stabilization, but if you didn't know what you were doing, this thing was going into the ground. The problem I kept having with it was I think the tail rotor would stop and it would just spin out of control. So I never really got to fly it much, but still a cool helicopter to have. Maybe one day I'll build it or it's just gonna be a shelf queen. Next up on the list is the Blade 300 CFX. This is also a pretty old model. This was the first really kind of like hobby grade RC helicopter I ever bought, aside from some of the mini ones like you just saw. I crashed it a lot trying to learn how to fly it. I eventually had to buy all metal servos because they just kept stripping. This is brushless, not direct driven. It's actually got a belt you can see there. And I put the Align blade holder in the back. Pretty dope. This thing is awesome and it looks really cool. All carbon fiber parts on here, carbon fiber blades. Basically it is CFX. It's the carbon fiber version of the Blade 300. This is 300 size and the next one coming up is 400 size. And finally guys, the cream of the crust. RC helicopter that I own. Saab Goblin in orange. The paint scheme is beautiful. I've I always wanted this helicopter. I found it used for an unbelievable deal and I was actually really happy when I did because it was kind of strange that this was the one I always wanted and then it kind of just fell into my lap. Like I said, I bought it built already. It has quantum brushless motor on it. This is also belt driven so you can see that when you turn the main rotors, the rear turn. Again, this is a six channel helicopter capable of flying completely upside down. Aluminum rotor head, aluminum swash plate, AR72008X receiver here. 
this was like a dream come true as a kid to have something like this so i i just love it i i don't know what else to say it is just a gorgeous piece of machinery and yeah i just i really enjoy looking at it as much as i enjoy flying it there are a few videos of me flying it on my channel i don't do it too often because obviously i don't want to crash it but I think in the future, hopefully as my channel grows and I'm able to get more stuff like this, that's more likely where you're gonna see. So that's it for helicopters, guys. Beautiful. Just look at that, man. I, I just, I don't know if you've seen the clip of the kid. He loves corn. This is how I feel about the helicopter. I haven't seen no more beautiful thing. Now we're on to the airplanes, guys. And we're gonna start with this right here. This is the E-Flight Convergence VTOL. I've actually had this plane for a few years. I've never flown it. That's coming in a future video for sure. I have everything I need. I don't know. I just never got to it really, I guess. This thing's pretty dope. It came out, I think, four something years ago. And it's a plane, but it also is like a drone. So it'll take off like this. And then once you're in the air, you flip the switch, the propellers go forward, and then it will forward flight. The uh, pieces for the back are still in the box. But yeah, I mean, I've had it forever. I never flew it, so I probably think I should right up next is the hobby zone aero scout s2 i actually picked this up from my wife we have not flown it yet i'm going to teach her how to fly on this that is also going to be a video series that's coming so if you're interested in that subscribe so you don't miss it this thing's actually pretty sweet i play with it in the simula it's a very capable plane it is a beginner plane but i think for anybody who likes flying in general it has safe so it'll limit the bank angle it is also pusher powered so that way the propeller is protected so if you do have a rough landing you're not going to snap the shaft or break the blade or anything like that i don't really have much to say about it yet other than stay tuned for the video series that will be coming up next on the list is the umx t28 trojan this thing crashed into a tree and the wing broke and instead of gluing it i took it apart and bought a new wing which proved to be almost impossible to put on this thing has been knocked off now by a couple different chinese companies i know the company one of them is ea sheen i believe and i've seen another one by rage rc or something like that at the hobby shop hundred dollar plane but man when this thing flew it was awesome so i hope at some point i can get this thing back in the air i do have the wing in my garage up next we have the umx a10 thunderbolt 2 as you can see i had a ton of awesome successful flights until i didn't this is without a doubt the best rc airplane i've ever owned even with its small size it still flies absolutely amazing i'm really sad that i crash it but i do have a new wing and i will be getting a new fuselage so this will be up in the air soon i did a video review of it if you look i'll leave the link below not much to say other than it was a really disappointing day and i hope to be flying it very soon once again up next is the e-flight umx pits this thing is sweet and i'll confess i have not even flown it yet i will be doing a video review very very soon for it absolutely beautifully made and from what i've heard it is an absolute animal in the sky i do have a 3s battery for it so i fully expect this thing to be a monster next on the list is the umx f27 fpv flying wing again i've never flown this seems to be a common theme around here i just buy planes and never fly them either way it's got an fpv camera in the front brushless in the rear hopefully i will fly it soon really don't know what else to say but i probably should fly it so coming to a video soon i guess and last but not least is the umx turbo timber i have flown this one but i did not finish the review video yet so once again keep your eyes peeled that is coming very soon really just have to get to the park and film my final flights i did most of the video this thing's sweet it's got working leds flaps full four channel brushless motor very very scale looking it's got the oversized wheels it can take off in a very small area as well as land in a very small area beautiful plane and that's pretty much it for the planes guys i did recently move across the country i had a lot of bigger planes but i had to sell them so i've pretty much just only been buying the umx planes as you can put them back in the box and bring them along with you and they don't take up a lot of room which is really really convenient yeah i mean that's it guys I, I guess this is it for this video hope you enjoyed watching and i'll see you in the next video later